Namaste, I am Acharya Pratishtha. Well, International Day of Yoga is coming and let us not make it just a one-day festival or a one-day event. No, the right philosophy behind bringing one day as International Day of Yoga is to make your entire life yogic. It is of no use to celebrate it only for one day if we cannot adapt yoga as a lifestyle. We have to accept and adapt yoga as a lifestyle. We must practice yoga abhyas every single day. And along with practicing yoga abhyas every single day, it is very, very important that we follow yoga philosophy. Now, when we follow yoga philosophy, we need to go back to a question that might have come in your mind so many times what is the objective of my life what is the final objective of my life what do i want out of my life so shastras say dukhatrah nivritti swaruparanda vaptischa dukho se nivritti aur swarupananda apne anand mein sthit hona apne swarup mein sthit hona we want to overcome all of our sorrows and we want to stay happy but yoga is a science that not only teaches us to be happy but to attain the state of bliss which is much more than just happiness but we have some human emotions because we are in this human body we have a human mind which results into human emotions and feelings and we have different human emotions known as navras nine human emotions and out of these nine human emotions one emotion when get disturbed takes a different form which is known as anger now sometimes people say oh eliminate anger completely from your life now whenever we try to eliminate an element from our life it just simply is jitna tumhe bulana chahti utna aur kareeb aa jati so more you try to forget about something more you are actually thinking about that same way eliminate an emotion or eliminate a feeling from your life simply means that you are constantly thinking about that emotion or that feeling even more so if i'm sitting and i'm thinking i don't have to think anything i don't have to think anything i don't have to think anything it's again a thought if i'm sitting and thinking i don't have to be angry i don't have to be angry i don't have to be angry that means i'm thinking about being angry even more oh acharya ji then what is the solution solution is that I don't have to think about that I don't have to be angry rather I have to change my mindset to I have to be happy I have to be happy I have to be happy and I have to have more patience so I am changing my focus from being angry focusing more on anger then towards happiness So instead of thinking more about anger either I have to be angry or I don't have to be angry somewhere I'm thinking about angry only then uh, when we talk about yoga philosophy bhagavad gita is an important part of that and even today people who do teacher training courses or who do different kind of uh, instructor course or other yogic courses they study bhagavad gita when they do these courses in bharat yoga and of course at other institutes as well Anger krodh has been defined so beautifully in Bhagavad Gita. And one very important thing that we need to remember about anger is anger is the most useless thing. You would say useless thing why? Because you will always be angry on something which has happened in past. Yes. Just think about it. You will be angry about something which has already happened. And what science says what rule of life says what life philosophy says you can never go into the past and change it so troubling yourself for something which has already happened is the most useless thing isn't it even if you're angry right now like somebody slapped you just now but he or she has already slapped you so that has already happened and you are angry about something which has already happened Other reason for anger is desires and expectations. We have so many desires in this life, so many expectations in this life that 
we get frustrated when those desires are not fulfilled when our expectations are not fulfilled that's why yoga philosophy says samatvam yoga uchyate to have a saman sthiti to have unanimity is yoga and then you study about panchaklesh you actually study about what are the reasons of my sorrows in life and then one day you realize after studying yoga philosophy that i am unhappy because i'm trying to find permanent things in a temporary life i'm feeling angry because i'm trying to find permanent things in a temporary life we rarely realize that this body is temporary each and everything around me is temporary so not going too much into philosophy let's understand some very simple steps that we can take to say goodbye to anger and when we say anger management generally um management is a word because it is there you cannot eliminate it completely but you need to manage it why we have used this word manage because sometimes people say oh this is a useless thing we don't need to keep it and manage we just need to eliminate it no you cannot eliminate it completely why because i have learned from my guru yogi is never helpless generally people think ah oh, okay you are a yogi ah yogis are helpless they cannot do anything no yogi means perfectionist that's why it is said yoga karma su kaushalam yogi we have such examples of yogi raj shiv yogeshwar krishna so yogi means perfect whatever a yogi does is always perfect so sometimes people take you for granted because they believe you are a yogi ah they will not be angry they will not say anything so i have learned from my guru getting angry and showing anger these two are different krodh karna krodh dikhana do alag cheez hai that's why this topic is anger management sometimes you need to show anger to a child to be disciplined oh you have to do this you have to show anger to your disciple to be more disciplined you have to show anger to someone who is doing wrong because you want them to be disciplined but if my child has done something and i become so angry that i lose control over myself and i pick up anything in my hair hand and i throw it on that person this means your remote control is in someone else's hand and you need to take the control of your life in your own hand krodh hame khata hai haas samne wale ko khata hai If somebody is trying to make you angry and you lose control, who is the winner? Person who wants you to be angry. On the contrary, if you will ang- be angry, you are killing yourself rather than killing someone else. A killing in the, is a harsh word, means you are hurting yourself. But on the contrary, somebody is trying to make you angry and you start laughing. Atta has yogic laugh. So other person will be upset rather than you. So let us understand some very very simple ways. to actually manage this anger not eliminate we have to show anger without becoming angry this is important okay so the very first thing that we need to learn and we need to follow is the practice of maun silence which is an integral part of yoga so whenever somebody is trying to make you angry whenever somebody something is frustrating you you're feeling anger be quiet follow mon and when we say mon it is not only through your tongue it is from your mind it is from your thoughts as well so mon doesn't mean keep that frustration inside you and frustrate after some time no mon means just be silent and look at all the tamasha going on in the outer world connect to your inner world and that will give you balance that will give you control over your emotions second thing is count whenever somebody is making you angry just okay you cannot do mon you are not a yoga practitioner not that everybody watching this video is a yoga practitioner and if everybody is a yoga practitioner we don't need to get such a topic because a yogi is never angry he has full control he or she has full control over his or her emotions so if you cannot follow mon count and it is always better to do an opposite counting from 10 to 1 somebody is making you angry 10 9 8 7 
so these are some easy versions of mon itself or easy versions of meditation okay uh, to make to simplify it for those who are new to yoga bhyas yoga practice so second is count third and very important is ignore see somebody is shouting at you you also shout at that person he shouts more you shout more there is no end to that right so if something is troubling you and something is creating anger in you that means it is hampering your spiritual growth just ignore and ignore means utilize your energies to a positive thing do something more productive right now so that you don't think about that sudden temptation or sudden increase in your anger so you get time to think i'm not saying that somebody is doing wrong to you and you don't revert back but at the right time at the right situation not just there just then when they want you to react so just ignore fourth breath awareness a very simple practice of yoga when somebody is making you angry or you are getting angry with something just sit quietly or just stand one hand on your chest other on your stomach and do some chest breathing not only abdominal breathing so how slower your breath more effectively you will be able to control your anger deeper your breath more effectively if you are breathing like no it is going to increase your anger no you don't have to do that so your breath should be slow deep and synchronized so this is the fourth thing concentrate on your breath fifth is just leave everything go for a nice walk and trust me it really helps why because you go out in mother nature you're surrounded with trees you're walking on a green grass or maybe on mud or you're just walking on road but there are trees around you there is a sky above you you can smell some nice fragrances go out for a walk for some time stop thinking about that thing go out for a walk take some deep breath and while walking you can follow all these steps mon deep breathing and then um, ignore okay next repeat a mantra whenever such thing happens take any mantra om om namah shivaya gayatri mantra or any other um, mantra that you follow so just sit or stand wherever you are just cut yourself from that situation for some time and then om bhur bhavaswaha tat savitarvarihenam argo devasya dhimahi dio yo na prachodaya om bhur bhavaswaha so this way keep repeating a mantra until your emotions are under your control until you are under your control now next thing is listen to some soothing music when you feel angry you know music has always worked as a therapy and uh, uh, in bharat yoga teacher training our teachers learn music therapy dance therapy because these are integral parts of your culture and music has always worked as a therapy if you want to um, have some um, exciting emotions there are different rags if you want to cool down yourself there is a different rag so make sure that you are listening to the right music right rag but just listen to some soothing music when you feel angry now there is one thing which is known as mental escape this is very important because not necessarily that you are in a situation from where you can do a physical escape you can go for a walk or you can go and listen to a music or maybe you are with a boss who is very very toxic and is constantly shouting at you and you are just suppressing your emotions no go for a mental escape and all these um, ways that i told you count breath awareness ignore is a medium of mental escape and one such medium is let them shout control your senses you're looking at them but you're not looking at them you're listening to them but you're not listening to them so what you are doing you're thinking about some nice beautiful moments of your life this is a mental escape physically i'm here but mentally i have escaped myself from this situation next is very very important bharat yoga attahas so we do it every day in our classes what you have to do is when somebody is making you angry or you are feeling angry just detach yourself from everything in the outer world spread your hands let your abdomen be loose let your chest be loose and 30 seconds of free laughter how one two
<laughs> just laugh and this is going to bring your anger down next is practice gratitude see whenever we are angry because of unfulfilled desires or because of something that we have to do uh, we are compelled to do think of the things because then it will raise more of the complaints in you so what we have to do is think of all the things we are grateful for oh prabhu i'm so grateful for this breath i'm so grateful for this heartbeat i'm so grateful for mother earth being so strong beneath me i'm so grateful to the sky for being so um protective above me i'm so grateful for the trees that are around me for blessing me with oxygen i'm so grateful to water i'm so grateful to food i'm so grateful to all the loved ones in my life i'm so grateful to my family and you have so many things it's a long list to be grateful for so just convert your mindset to gratefulness from the complaining mode and your anger will be down and gone right at that moment and last two things are very important one is practice yoga abhyas every single day especially practice some mild stretches so we are going to practice these mild stretches right now right away very first thing that we must do every single day just two three practices that we must do to control our anger first is anand madira now for anand madira we will be sitting in vajra asan okay so you can see me clearly and um, sit in vajrasan <clears throat> in this position and uh, you can see my posture clearly right so in this position sit straight and bring your hands at your ankles thumb is going to be inside and fingers are going to be outside So come to this position and then bend your neck back leave your neck loose and just focus at the mid of your eyebrows whatever thought is coming let it come whatever thought is going let it go do not hold any thought do not invite any thought and just sit in this position as long as comfortable with normal breathing face is absolutely calm and then bring your neck back bring your hands back and place your right hand below your uh, at your left underarm left hand at your right underarm and bend your neck forward so i'll show it to you from the from front so this is the this is the position vajrasan and it has to be done in this sequence only okay and then bend your neck forward without giving any kind of strain at your neck and just focus at the tip of your nose and your breath face is absolutely calm this is going to give you some very soothing effect at the tip of your nose this entire process anand madira and padadur together can be done three times next is a very simple practice of shashank asan shashank itself means moon and moon is the uh, it gives you a cooling effect controls your anger so we'll be doing a modified version of uh, guru pranam uh, or shusha shashank asan commonly known as so generally we lift up our hand and then bend forward this is a modified version place your palms on the floor and stay in this position for some time now when you come in this position your lower back is absolutely relaxed and then exhale and stretch your hands forward now place your elbows on the floor and then place Try to touch your forehead to the floor. Normal breathing in the final position. This is one of the most relaxing practices you can do to instantly bring your anger down. Then first lift up your elbows, then your face, face, and same like we did. We went to this position, stretching our hands. Same way, bring your body back. very simple practice every taken to now in pranayam we must do brahmaji pranayam to control our anger instantly as well and in long term as well so block your ears with your first finger this flap you have to um close not that you have to put your finger inside your ear so close your eyes inhale through your nose exhale through your nose but while exhaling create the sound of humming 
Bring your hands down. This is one round. You can practice it for five rounds. These very simple practices can help you in controlling your anger. And as I said, last is you must do some stretches. So even at your workplace or anywhere, just stretch your entire body. You can do Tadasana and you can do Tanasana in the lying position. Do you can do Sarpagati, and all these stretches are going to help you a lot in saying and bidding farewell to your anger. So before we end today's um, episode, just remember, jaisa khai an, vaisa hoi tan, vaisa hoi man, vaisa hoi jeevan. Diet plays a very important role. Make sure if you have too much of anger in you, make sure that you stop eating all the tamasic food. So when I say tamasic food, it means too much of garlic, too much of spicy food, too much of garisht bhojan and um, food that comes with boiling. So I never say non-vegetarian food because we don't consider it as food. So if you're eating that, you need to stop that. And uh, stale food, never eat stale food. Just eat freshly prepared food, drink a lot of water, make sure you have ample fluids in your diet and take out time for some spiritual practice as well. And what can be a better spiritual practice than studying yoga philosophy? So that's all for today. Lots of love, light and blessings for all of you. Stay healthy, stay happy. Hari Om.